Hello, everyone. I am Kentia Smith. I am your NC Realtors Housing Foundation Director. How are you? I am here because I am interested, I am curious, and I am wanting everyone to know about the foundation, as well as learn about our associations. Being the Housing Foundation and being a representation of NC Realtors, we represent 45 local associations. And even our local associations with their own foundations, we still feel like we are their partners and their sisters. And so this is going to be my Me Our 2024 president. This series is to learn more about the presidents coming in, as well as our local associations and identify ways the foundation and the association can work together. I am so ecstatic to have this person as the next interview of I, I'm able to do. I love their area. I know I say that about every year, but I do love Mid-Carolina. Um, you have been in a wonderful support to the foundation, and I just feel honored to be able to interview. And that is the Mid-Carolina 2024 president, Mr. Donathan Stover. Hi, Donathan. Hey, Katia, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well, and I appreciate you uh, having me on today. Thank you. And, you know, I know I know a lot about you, but I'm still going to ask the questions because I know. <laughs> but I always want to let people know who don't know, where are you from and were you originally raised in NC? Yes, I actually, I was born and raised uh, right here in Moore County, North Carolina, in Pinehurst, mm -hmm. and raised in a little small town called Bass, just outside of Fort Liberty. And uh, so, yeah, I am a uh, true, true uh, North Carolinian. Carolinian. Yes. I'm, yes. My heels are tarred. Yes. Yes. And just so you know, I learned so much about Pinehurst doing the golf tournament. You know, I didn't I did not know about the prestige and just learning that and playing the tournament was awesome. I got to always ask because this is a question I always want to know. How did you get into real estate? And was that your first like career option? So um, my first career option, I think when I was in fourth grade, was to be a doctor. So if you ever seen my handwriting, you you would understand. <laughs> um, but that that ship probably sailed a long time ago. So, um, but I got into sales uh, when I was nineteen, selling mm -hmm. door to door uh, Kirby vacuums, and I always said that the best sales job on the planet it's probably real estate. Uh, fast forward some time later, uh, I got a text message from a colleague of mine in my office that uh, asked, hey, how would you like to uh, get into real estate? And at that time, I was working at a Mercedes Benz and Porsche dealership. And um, I said, yeah, let's 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 do it. And so um, that was back in 2017. When I got that text in 2019, I got licensed as a realtor. And um I guess the rest is history, as they would say. Awesome. Awesome. I remember them Kirby vacuum salesmen coming around to my mom and them like that. <laughs> that was a that was a true job that you had to be dedicated for, because a lot of people use them just to Ooh. clean their carpet <laughs> and get the display. But that is awesome. It so was. you are a new realtor. What made you want to get into the presidency? Like, like, how did you come from just being a new realtor in 2019 and now you're the president for 2024? Well, I, um, you know, I, I like when I get into something, I like being into it. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I don't I don't I'm not one of those guys that, you know, see things that happen in our industry and then you know, jump online or, 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 you know, be a keyboard warrior and complain and stuff like that. So I said, you know, the best way uh, to do this is to get involved. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and I thought, you know, early on in my career, if I can get involved early um, and kind of do the rest of the legwork and hard work of being a realtor uh, mm -hmm. for the remaining time that I uh, choose to be in the business. And, um, and so I, you know, I went through a leadership program with our uh, with our wonderful cha uh, chamber of commerce here, uh, and then jumped on the board of directors uh, for our association. Chaired the um, diversity committee with our association, and uh, just learned so much more. And then just wanted to be more engaged. And the opportunity presented itself uh, for me uh, to put myself or put my name in the hat to run for the. Uh, president-elect for this year, 2023, and I was voted in by my uh, by my colleagues in our association 
of course, unattested, but um, nonetheless, they still had to vote. And uh, and here I am, and, and I'm excited. I, I travel all over North Carolina and sometimes all over the country to learn more about uh, effective ways to lead and uh, effective ways to govern associations. And um, I'm just excited and, and, and enjoy every bit of it. Are you going to regional? Uh, I am. Savannah? I am. I am. actually. Awesome. Getting, awesome. Uh, getting prepared and my suitcase is ready to, almost ready, not fully, but almost ready to uh, head out on Sunday. Oh, you're doing good. I sometimes don't pack to the day before and I always forget like, I got to pack up earlier. You're doing really good. And you know what I think is interesting about you and the presidency, because we've talked about this and I kind of had this same um, conversation with the Catawba Valley, Miss Carlita. Um I love Carlita. You are the set. I do too. You are the second African American president for Mid Carolina, I and am. I think I think that's an awesome thing. Um, but it's also something that probably comes with a lot of, um, you know, of wanting to encourage other, you know, people like us or people of color to want to get involved with that. And I think it's great that you really are going to be that president because not only are you wonderful and you have a great leadership. But you're also, you know, a representation of this is what you do when you start something. You know, we can right. get involved. We can, you know, really get into our communities and make a difference. So I think that's awesome that you're doing that. And you're right. You have a wonderful association, Miss Sandra Alley. Um, all of y'all, even um, what's her name? She does y'all's weekly thing. Oh, um, Avery. Avery, she's yes. awesome. Michelle, yes. your triangle. So you all have a wonderful, wonderful association to represent. And so I think you being there and you're young, I mean, you might think you're older, but you're still young, you know, and that's going to help people like, hey, I want to get involved too, you know, those types of things. So I think that's great. What is your biggest goal for your presidency or what do you want to continue when it comes to being the president? Uh, because I was just saying, you all take a three-year commitment for your presidency. You're president-elect mm -hmm. for a yep. year, you're president mm -hmm. for a year, then you're past president for a year. And most of the past presidents go on to come on and do other things and sometimes come back as past as, as presidents again because of their dedication to the association. So what is something you know you want to either continue with Mid-Carolina or a goal that you want to start with Mid-Carolina Association? Well, one of the things that we like to do is we do like to um, to do to stay in line with uh, how NAR has things. Um, I know that uh, the current president, um, she is uh, looking to ignite others to get into the business. Obviously we're at a at a point in time and or, or maybe in point in history where some of these um, some of these agents that we all have looked up to, uh, you know, the 20 and 30 and 40 year agents who dominated the market who brought us to this wonderful place that we're at the you know those agents we're going to start seeing those guys phase out and yeah. um and, and and so it's it's going to be my goal to continue to to encourage folks to uh, be a part of uh the real to world uh get involved uh and uh one of the things we started was an education committee uh last year with our or actually this year with our uh current past president Jake Sutherland and um and and so we we look to streamline that a little bit more to continue to keep our agents informed. Um, we always want to stay out front. Uh, we want to be, uh, you know, that association that you know that's that's not afraid to kick down barriers, not yeah. afraid to say, hey, you know what, this is this is a wonderful opportunity to know really um, how laws work, how contract laws work, and and, mm -hmm. and things of that nature, um, because of if if we don't, we'll be left behind, and, and and bigger organizations will consume us, and 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 it just won't be fun. Uh, we're yes. a small town uh, with with a big town heart. Um, yes. We 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 are growing uh, exponentially, and and mm -hmm. we love it. Uh, but we also like that small town feel as well. Yes. Um, so that's one of the things I want to continue is, is is trying to ignite others to get into the business, um, and also keep our education committee. Um, up to date um and 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 committed and then then with all our other committees as well um we have a very awesome community outreach program who absolutely crushed every goal they had this year uh and um just got word that the the chair and um 
uh, one of the co-chairs will stay on to to chair uh, along with another agent. Uh, and 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 so we look for big things out of those guys next year, uh, so that our association is always giving back to our community. Um, because without our community, we're we're, we're nothing. You know, we're just we're yeah. just people with titles. And um, mm-hmm. again, titles don't make a difference. Uh, it's the folks that hold those. And 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 we we wholeheartedly love our community, love our association, love our agents, and we love giving back and we love doing those things. So we 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 will stay on that path and. Uh, and and work across the board with our MLS uh, partners as well. We have a wonderful relationship with those guys, and um, we we absolutely love our association with the uh, MLS as well here at Mid Carolina. And I, I love your association. And I actually had the uh, opportunity to, to do one of your education series, and it was when you brought the Department of Transportation mm-hmm. to go over what was coming up in the next couple of years for Moore County. And it was so interesting because, you know, it, it, it's, I know sometimes we all get stuck on the here and now and what's in mm-hmm. front of us, but also there's always got to be a big picture. And I think yep. you brought up a good point. Moore County is definitely expanding. Um, you know, a lot of jobs are coming to North Carolina and people need places to live. And mm-hmm. some people want to be in the metropolis, but some people want to be kind of somewhere like Pinehurst, Southern Pines, you know, still got that comfort, you know, small town feel. And so that was really great just to learn about all the things they're doing with the roads and like extending the highways and those types of things. Um, And you all do a lot of great things for your community. And that was one of the things um, I always wanted to ask is, you know, and I know you do know, what do you know about the foundation and like our work or anything like that? Cause it's always important for me to know. And if you, you know, and I always tell people, and I know, you know, cause you, you've been a great, your <laughs> mid Carolina has been a great support to the foundation um, in every way, anything we ask, you know, you all step up, but what do you know as the new president about the foundation that you can definitely show, share with your members? Well, first off, let me say this. We, um, <clears throat> I don't want to say we stumbled on the housing foundation. I just know that we uh, were in midterms in DC, uh, DC earlier this year, and, um, and and of course, you know when you hold a role like this, you you're part of a board of directors of, of mm-hmm. North Carolina uh, Realtors, and um, so we we had a great opportunity to sit inside the North Carolina Housing Foundation uh, meeting uh, that day, board meeting, uh, of course, as spectators, um, and. And, and one of the things you guys said that you wanted to do was, or, or the initiative you guys have going on is the 100 homes in 100 counties. Um, that sparked our ears. And, and of course, myself and our AE, Sandra Bernhardt, was uh, mm-hmm. in there with us. And then and then the notion of maybe we'll have a golf tournament and there's a few places. And of course, the name Pinehurst came up yeah. and we just said, No, there, there was no few isn't... places. The board yeah. was... <laughs> no, no, so, no. Yeah, uh, they were dead set on partners. There was no nice. other place. <laughs> nice. Well, and and when we heard our names, we really said, you know what, we we don't think, and and, and of course, and, and and please don't don't take this the wrong way. Any other no. any other county, because we know there's there's awesome golf courses. I mean, Charlotte has yeah. uh, Quail oh, Hollow, yeah. and and Carrie has Preston Wood, and uh, you know, I could name off a list of awesome golf courses that 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 host great tournaments here in North Carolina. But you know, none none like the cradle of uh, of, of golf uh, yes. of American golf here in Pinehurst. Yes. Uh, you know, with Pinehurst number two, with with Pine Needles, uh, who hosts U.S. Women's Opens and stuff like that. Yes. So we just said, you know, it probably would be fun if folks had an opportunity to do something great for their state or their community, uh, and then come to a really awesome place uh, to play golf and and enjoy themselves in our community uh, because. We love showcasing this place, um, and as you know, you and I, we we rode around a couple of times, uh, getting organizing the tournament and stuff yes. like that. I, I um, tell you, you were you and your association was amazing. Um, you put me with some great contacts. You know, Shutterbug, Miss Nancy, Latoya, uh, were you know created. They were awesome, and like you said, everyone was so Miss Sandra. I can call her for anything. She is there. So you all have been awesome. Um, I love that the golf tournament came together. Yes, thanks to me. No, I'm just well. No, I had a great <laughs> fundraising committee too. Miss Shailene, uh, she probably did a, a multitude. But what I'm saying is, you are really to step up. And I remember that meeting because I had initially just started, and I didn't know it was public. 
So I'm going on about like, you know, what I want to do and how we're going to do this. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. And then all these people start clapping. I'm like, what is this? Like, you know <laughs> I did not know it was going to be that many people in there. But in a way, my board was glad because they said you saw my passion. I love what this foundation does. And I asked that question because I know there are people who don't know what the foundation do. But if you don't, we're going to make sure you learn. And so it's been awesome to partner with you all. We definitely would love to partner and figure out 100 homes, you know, some type of project there. It, it, and just continue that partnership. And I know you all, and I ask this question of associations because each associations kind of have their own initiative. What is you all's biggest community initiative when it comes to being the Realtors of Pinehurst? What do you all kind of do your, you know, because you say you all have a community outreach. What was some of them things that um, Mid-Carolina Area Social Realtors kind of did in the community this year or the previous years? Well, we certainly help out uh, with backpack um piles I, I think that's the name of it and, and forgive me if, if if i misquoted that or mis mispronounced that again um we do a lot of meals on wheels things um uh food pantries things of that nature uh, because not everyone is, is is in a fortunate place that, no. that a lot of us are uh and even in our community uh in a, in, a, in a wealth of community that we're in you know there's still folks who yep. who need a little assistance um yep. and it's okay to turn around and 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 reach your hand back out and, and pull someone along the way. Yes. Um, you know, we, we love donating our time, uh, that especially through Habitat, obviously mm -hmm. that's, that's something close to realtors hearts. Yes. Um, cause it just means so much more. It allows us to help folks to realize the American dream. Uh, yeah. and, 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 and I like to call those local American dreams because they are, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's localized. And, 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 and so we do a ton of giving back, um, and I know there's been two um, two initiatives that 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 we've given to uh, our community college here in Moore County and one down in Richmond County. Uh, that those guys will have a, a a grant or scholarship that will perpetually go on forever. Uh, that was donated by really? Mid Carolina a Realtors Association. So uh, we're we're extremely proud of that. We we love being able to educate our our folks. Our DEI community just uh, just did a. Uh, safe zone training uh called people of the pines several weeks ago mm -hmm. uh, miss shailene actually was one of our speakers there we were very fortunate to have her there um and so we we do a lot to include a lot and to get the message out uh that we absolutely care about our association but more about our beautiful community i have to ask what is the scholarship um you would have to uh, allow me to dig through some emails. Okay. Uh, okay. That happened. That's that actually fine. happened. That, that those started last year during uh, uh, the past president Jake's uh, his term, uh -huh. and um, and I was just getting on to learn kind of what goes on and and sitting those uh, executive meetings and stuff the like that. To but um, they are scholarships to help out. Um, you know help communities grow, help, help folks get educated on, on, on some things that will take businesses, uh, further and, and, and to grow those, uh, grow those things. Um, not normally trade. Uh, and mm -hmm. I want to say that there's yeah. of course trade stuff. So, um, yeah. the, just things that we look at that, that, you know, a lot of times we look at things that are just buy, sell, invest. Yes. Um, but we need the plumbers. We need you know, the roofers. We need landscapers. We need people that have those education uh, to be able to to support exactly what we do, and that's make the American dream, dream come true. But we like we like for it to be done right, and we don't. Yes, yes, and I agree with you. Let me tell you, I have a master's and a pile of debt, so uh, I have had <laughs> you. To the choir. I worked with yeah. I've had you who aged out of foster care that I worked with. They go into welding. They're making two hundred thousand yes. dollars now. Yes. They go into masonry. Mm -hmm. They're in Seattle, you know, and they're making really great money. A trade means your own business. Yes, you know, you can do it as a social worker too. You know, you need certain licenses and clinical, but when you have that trade, HVAC, plumbing, it, I I always tell my youth go into something you can do and you want to do. College is not for everybody, and that's okay. But I'm with you, you know, pushing it. And I love that you all support Backpack Beginnings. You are absolutely right. People think because it's a wealthy area. No, there's people who work every day but still have challenges, especially when it comes to food. Also, it helps a lot of working parents because 
they can kind of know the kids have some snacks while they're working in the evenings or things like that. So backpack pals and those types of things are great to be behind. And I yeah, one of the mm -hmm. oh, go ahead. Yeah, one of the things that we obviously we we what did we realize during the COVID year um, or years uh, was that when when the world had to shut down, mm -hmm. some of these kids didn't have anything to eat. Yeah, and because school was closed. Yeah. Um. And 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 you know, I think when I when I chaired the DEI committee, I mean, we we raised uh, enough money to to feed uh, a thousand or, or give away a thousand meals. Um. You know, the small amount that was that that helped out. You know, thousand people was able to eat that. That's tremendous. And 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 that's what you do it for. You know, you yeah. you 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 know that 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 there is a need, and 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 you just you just step up and do it. Yes. it you know. It, it may take you a few hours. It may take you a few days. It may take a couple of weeks. So, it, you know, that pain is temporary, but if you quit, that's forever. And we don't want to quit on our community. Uh, we are, and I always brag to everybody. I think we have the best association and maybe I'm being a little biased, but um, our agents certainly get it. Our association gets it. Uh, every committee that we have in our association gets it. Um, and we all get behind each other and we all link arms and we all walk forward and 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 trying to close gaps on certain things and and hunger is one of them that that we just we just all feel strongly about. So. I agree. I agree. I definitely agree. And like I said, being from West Virginia, I know that there are kids where I'm from who still the, the, the most meals they get a day is going to school. And I know how those backpack programs. So a thousand kids it's so that's a lot. I'm telling that that might be a whole elementary school. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, exactly, exactly. That is that is awesome. And then I did put this question on the interview because I kind of want to ask people. But as we're moving into the fall and the winter, what is Donathan Stover's comfort? Like, what lets him know I want to snuggle on the couch in my blanket, maybe read a golf magazine? What is your fall winter comfort? Well, when it gets cooler, I know that my wife's going to make chili. So I love that part. Um, <laughs> because then I can just indulge and she can keep making chili. Because uh, I do about 90% of the cooking here. So um, when fall comes, she, she gets out the crock pot. And, and, and that's that's probably where I gain the most um, the most weight. And, and, and of course, obviously, with Thanksgiving and Christmas coming up. But that's winter. Yeah. But um, no, I, you know, I like it when the humidity kind of goes away a little bit. And we can get 75 degree days and, you know, we can go out there and tee it up and, and, and golf and catch up with some of our colleagues who have been extremely busy this year, yep. um, you know, and, 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 and talk about some of the upcoming things, but um, you know, uh, and, and, and then, you know, it's, it's, it's awesome because my son also races his go-karts and so he's indoor karts. So when we go there, it's, it's not hot on the inside, you know, we can enjoy it a little bit more. Yes. And, um, but but just just doing those things and 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 oddly enough, I like doing yard work. So sometimes I go out and I'll I'll do some yard work um, for some folks and stuff like that. Probably at the most minimal cost, uh, but I enjoy it. Um, I enjoy getting my lawnmower and just you decorate for the fall or bit. winter. Like, do you decorate? Um, so we do. We actually, my wife's been doing some fall decorating and stuff like that around here. Um, we like that, but we're big Christmas people. Uh, really? So, yes. So I can oh, tell you Oh, you're the this. neighbors. I want to be beside with all the mm -hmm. lights and everything. November 1st is Christmas season. And, and I mean, if we could just keep it up all year long, we would. But <laughs> uh, but that's uh, <laughs> it's actually probably a countdown see. somewhere in here. My wife's going to be saying, oh, I need the new lights or I need this. But uh, yeah, no, we just... Comfort food for fall is, it's in my opinion, is probably the best, um, just because it's warm. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 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 like a warm hug, uh, and and so that's that's me in the fall. I want pictures of your house for Christmas. We don't do a lot outside, but the inside gets crazy. Oh, so you're the yeah. inside where you so, got all yeah, the decorations. We're inside. Yes, the tables are all decorated <laughs> for Christmas. Your kids. yes, oh, I love it. Thank you so much for doing this interview with no me, No problem, Donovan. Katia. Thank you. I, it's always I, wonderful catching up with you. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. You are so awesome. And you're going to be an amazing oh. president. Oh, uh, Thank you very much. I look forward to serving our uh, our wonderful association of realtors, um, the three or four counties that we do uh, cover as well. And, and we look forward to working with you guys um, uh, again next year with the golf tournament. Um, oh, yes. We look well, forward to 
Then you now we know Pinehurst is our yep. home, so we don't plan on going anywhere. Well, um, we are we are happy to have you here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. All right.